So this video is an Ask Me Anything vlog. Are you listening? So this video is an Ask Me Anything vlog. I have received many, many questions through comments on my channel, and I thought I would create sort of like an experiment where I'm going to start answering some of these. I try to answer all the questions I can in the comments, but I'm going to start answering some of these also directly through video. So that's what this video is all about. So we will get to these questions in just a moment. If you're new to my channel, I do vlogs like this one. I also do interviews with people that I find fascinating, including other lottery winners uh, because I am one of the things about me that, that some people don't know anyway is that I actually am a lottery winner in 1999 I won the Powerball it's one of the biggest craziest things that's ever happened to me it was life-changing uh, it changed my life um, for the better and in some in some cases for the worse as well but I've learned a lot of life lessons about it I'm very grateful I'm writing a book about it also about how the lottery has changed my life but this video is not about my book, um, but I am interviewing other people that I find fascinating. Some people that have come into sudden fame and sudden wealth, including other lottery winners, because it is one of the most rare things that can possibly happen to somebody. So if you want to see some of these interviews, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified when they come out. And it's not only lottery winners that I'm interviewing on this channel. There are many people, just people that I find fascinating. But this video is what I'm going to call Ask Me Anything vlog number one. So I've received quite a few comments on my channel. I try to answer each and every one of them. And if I haven't answered your question yet, I apologize, but I definitely do plan to get to that. And I really, really appreciate all of your comments and questions on all of my videos. But many people have had questions about many things. I'm going to choose some of the ones that I think are especially interesting. I can't get to everyone's, but as you know, I'm going to be making more vlogs about this. But I'm going to get to some of them here in this video. And if you have any questions that you would like to ask me, then go ahead and put those in the comments of this video. And that could be the topic of another video. But for the sake of this video, these are comments that were previously submitted. So let's get to the first one. The first one I'm getting to is from Randy Friesen. I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, if so, I apologize. On my video, new vlogs coming soon, which I'll put a link to that video below. It goes over some of the uh, vlogs that I have upcoming, as well as upcoming interviews that I have coming out in the future. That's what that video is all about. But Randy uh, asks, when you said you believed you were going to win, how was your thought process? So he's asking, when I said that I believed that I was going to win, he was asking what my thought process was he wants to know if every single ticket I chose what did I think that each ticket was going to win every time I looked at it or did I just play and expect to win so thank you very much for your question Randy I really appreciate it and you know I actually did have a very vivid dream about winning the lottery a few months prior to winning the lottery way back in the day in 1999. And so I find that very, very interesting. I made a video about it. I'll put a link to that video below. But because of the dream, I honestly believed that I was going to win. And it's not the only dream I've had in my life that has come true, but it's one of them. And it's one of the more notable ones to a lot of people um, because I did dream about it and then I believed that I was going to win and then I won. Now, some people do think that that was caused by the law of attraction, meaning that I somehow manifested this in my mind through my energy because I had the dream and then I made it into reality because I believed that it was going to happen. And other people think that it was just dumb luck and mere coincidence that I had a dream about winning and then just got um, extremely lucky and won. And other people think that I was tapping into the future. I'm not claiming any of these things as I've said in previous videos, but I find them all very, very interesting. And I'm not the only person that has dreamt about winning before I won. And also there are many other lottery winners who strongly believe that they won because of the law of attraction. And you know, I've interviewed a couple of them on this channel. I'm gonna be interviewing more. I find it very, very interesting, the concept of the law of attraction. but. As far as my state of mind prior to winning, you know, I really expected to win. I almost always chose the quick pick, random computer generated option because I didn't think that uh, me choosing the numbers was going to make it win. I didn't have a dream about the numbers or anything like that like some winners have. I just believed that it was going to happen and so I just 
purchased it and I, I just felt that like it was going to happen. And so all I had to do was play. That's the way I felt. Now maybe I just got extremely lucky and that was my mindset and then I won. Regardless, it's a, it's a crazy coincidence if if it was just a coincidence, but it is what happened and that was my mindset. And I do have to say that that particular ticket that did win, I honestly believed that that was going to win after I saw the numbers. I honestly believed it. And I told my coworkers, I told my friends, you know, sort of bragging about it. Um, I played a game of cards later that night with people and basically uh, won almost every game. <laughs> that maybe that's just coincidence too. But I was just felt very, very like in the moment, like I was going to win that particular night with that particular ticket. And I didn't, you know, realize that I had fully. I, I didn't know the news that I had won until the next day, when I compared the numbers to the newspaper. Well, actually, so I worked at a gas station. I sold the ticket to myself, and so that was kind of uh, crazy too because. Even before I was able to claim it, I had people, media wanting to speak with me about selling the winning ticket. My boss called me up and said, you know, someone sold the winning ticket. And, you know, I knew, well, I was advised by attorneys anyway, I had to go in to the gas station and act as if I had just simply sold it, that I wasn't holding the ticket. And I did tell my boss, I ended up telling him, and um, that was, that was pretty interesting, but I, I went out there because I needed to develop a plan first, a financial plan. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? You can't just, I mean, you can, but it's better to have a plan before you claim a ticket, like a financial plan, get your ducks in a row and know exactly what you're doing. And I knew that if I just disappeared and didn't go into work, um, that people would know that I had won and I didn't want uh, people to know that until I knew, you know, what I should be doing as far as what are you going to do with that kind of money? How do you claim it? Who do you need? Do you need uh, attorneys? You need um, lawyers? You need accountants? All kinds of people, you know, so and I, I'm, I am going to make a video soon about what to do specifically, be more specific about what you should do if you do win the lottery or a large prize, but this video is not about that. Uh, but my mindset was that I honestly believed that I would win. I honestly believed it. Uh, for me personally, um, that particular dream about the lottery was very vivid. And it was one of the ones, you know, when you wake up, it took a, a little bit to realize that it hadn't happened yet. It was that real. And so um, that was that was my mindset. So hopefully that helps answer your question about that. I really appreciate it. But let's get to another question here from Timmy O'Toole from a video I did about lottery winner stories, interviewing lottery winners on French national television. Now I will put a link to that vlog below. It was basically a vlog explaining that I'm gonna start interviewing lottery winners and announcing that I was going to be on French national television, which I was a few months ago. So if you want to check that out, I will put a link below. But it was a show on lottery winners in the United States that aired in France. So that's what that vlog's all about. I will put a link below. But back to the question, Timmy O'Toole, he asks, how much did you win? Did you buy quick picks? And how many? So Timmy O'Toole, I initially won $28 million. Uh, but to be completely transparent and honest, I didn't walk away with anywhere close to $28 million for many, many reasons, which I will hopefully get into in another video, but it was life-changing. You know, it, it changed my life in ways I could have never imagined, uh, both for the better and some, some for the worse. And I'm writing about that in my book, which I'll put a link to below. But, um, it, you know, overall it's been mostly positive. And as far as uh, did I buy quick picks, uh, as I said in the previous comment on this vlog, I did, in fact, buy mostly quick picks because I felt, I mean, I feel like the odds are so astronomically low that you will win a jackpot on a lottery anyway. For me personally, I just felt like if it was going to happen, it was going to happen. So, you know, you just have to play to place yourself in a lightning field to have a chance with the odds, even if they're horribly, horribly low, to have a chance of hitting the big one. If you play, you honestly do have a chance, but never, never spend more than you can afford to lose because the odds are so awful and you don't want to hurt yourself financially because it's not the way to get rich quick for most people. But 
I have to say this. I have to be that guy that says, if you do play, you do have a chance because that is the truth. And when I purchase, you ask how many tickets I purchase. I usually purchase one at a time because I was working at a gas station for a little over minimum wage. And so I didn't have tons of extra money. And so, you know, I didn't want to lose tons of money on the lottery, but I wanted to have a chance. And it was fun, you know, kind of fun to play because you're sort of playing the dream, the dream of what if, what if I win? You know, so that's another positive thing I think about the lottery is if it can be fun and it's not hurting you financially and you're not out there spending hundreds of dollars on tickets and you just spend what you can afford to lose knowing that the odds are horrible, but also knowing that you have a chance because you do if you play. And I hate to be that guy, but it's the truth. So thank you so much for your question, Timmy O'Toole. So the next question in this video comes from Rita Maria on a video I did, an interview with lottery winner Lana McKenzie. Now that video, so Lana McKenzie is one of the first lottery winners I interviewed on this channel. Her story is very, very fascinating. If you haven't watched that interview, I highly recommend it. I will put a link below to that interview because it really did change her life in very positive ways. And she actually was playing a lottery for charity for a hospital that was treating her son with some medical issues. And it's a really heartfelt, positive, inspirational story. So. If you haven't watched that video, that interview with Lana McKenzie, I highly recommend checking that out. But thank you so much for your question, Rita. So the question on this video is, she says, I love watching these. Do you have any more interviews lined up? And the answer to that is yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, I have more interviews coming up. I have been taking a little break from YouTube for a little while because I was directing a film festival, you know, the Mile High Horror Film Festival showcases the very best horror, thriller, sci-fi films from all around the world. And it was supposed to take place and was postponed because of the coronavirus, because it's not safe to host a festival like that. But um, now, uh, if there is any sort of positive thing that's come of this is that now I have a bit more time to focus on my YouTube channel and I have been interviewing other people that I find fascinating. And so I have an interview with the winner of a major reality television show that I'm super excited to share with you. I also recently did an interview with an expert, one of the most renowned experts on the law of attraction because I find that concept very, very interesting and fascinating. So I interviewed an expert on that that's coming up. I also have interviewed other lottery winners. So there are interviews with other lottery winners coming out soon if you're looking for more of those types of interviews because it's really, really interesting to see how uh, the stories of others compare or contrast to that of my own. I love hearing the stories because it's one of the most rare things and, and I love meeting other lottery winners and people that have come into sudden wealth and fame. Uh, it's just very interesting. So. I do have more of those interviews coming up. I also interviewed someone who is an expert on astral projection. And if you don't believe in that sort of thing, that's perfectly fine because my channel is not about astral projection, but it's the prospect of dreaming. Uh, I don't even want, some people don't even classify it as dreaming, but basically going out of your body um, to see and experience other things. And our government here in the United States anyway, in the Cold War between the USA and USSR, we had teams of people doing this on each other. Uh, so there are credible people. I also interviewed a pol former police commissioner, not for my channel, but for a, a, something I did a long time ago, who believed in that sort of thing. So there are definitely credible people out there who believe in astral projection, and I just find it interesting. So that's one of the interviews that I've done that is coming up. But, you know, I do have more interviews with lottery winners and just people in general that I find very, very fascinating. So they are coming soon. So hopefully that answers your question. But uh, thank you so much for your comments. If you have a question for me, go ahead and put those in the comments below. And if you like this vlog, it's kind of an experiment, this Ask Me Anything vlog. Um, I have found that a lot of you do have questions and I'm happy to answer them. So I thought I should produce this vlog. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and do let me know if you have any questions about anything pertaining to this channel, to my videos, to the lottery, to uh, anything really. <laughs> Ask me anything. Ask me anything vlog number one. That's what this is. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more vlogs like this one. 
and interviews coming up on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.